Well, there's been a sharp increase in measles cases around the country. Yeah, the CDC reporting almost 400 cases just this year alone, the second largest since the disease was actually eliminated uh, almost 20 years ago in 2000. So joining us to talk about it is Dr. David Miller from Scripps Clinic. Thanks for being here, Doc. Yeah, thank you for inviting me. All right, so let's talk. Uh, I feel like we've done a lot of stories about the measles because there's been so many outbreaks, New York, Washington State, 15 other states reporting cases. What's happening in the country? Yeah, you know, it should be something that's eliminated. We've got a great vaccine that works with just two doses of the vaccine. It's 90% uh, uh, immunity, so it's a shame that uh, really what's happened in Oregon, they developed uh, they, uh, 41 cases of measles there, and uh, of the 41 cases, 37 have been investigated, all unvaccinated, unfortunately. So there's a public health state of emergency in Oregon. Mm -hmm. In San Diego County, we haven't had any. You know, but we can just consider ourselves lucky because we, we, we kind of are all expecting it. You know, we're waiting because there's a lot of people here who does, are not immune. Does it feel like it's a matter of time given the fact that there is this big outbreak across the country? Yeah, I think all of us are a little bit anxious and we're ready for someone to walk into our clinic or our emergency room and, and have a, you know, it just starts off as a cough and a little runny nose and it's hard to tell the difference, but then the fever, 105, and pretty soon you feel absolutely horrible and then those people show up at the clinic and uh, and it's not an obvious catch at first until that rash doesn't appear for a few days so if somebody walks in with a cough for example i mean do you immediately i don't want to say quarantine but put them in a place where you mm -hmm. say okay let's check this out and make sure is that is that how you move about or you kind of wait to see what progresses yeah you'd like to say that that happens right away but none of us are really uh you know we don't see many measles cases we shouldn't see any measles cases mm -hmm. it really shouldn't be here so we don't expect it you, for the first 10 to 12 days after you contract measles, you actually have no symptoms. So, and then that cough comes and you can infect thousands of people before you even, uh, even And can, can you infected. affect people even before you get the symptoms? Really, or does it have think, to develop in your body first? Yeah, we really think the cough is what spreads the measles. So as soon as that cough develops, then you become contagious. So potentially not so contagious during the first week. And this isn't just a kid's disease, even though we both have little kids, you oftentimes get vac you vaccinate your children. But are you seeing adults when it comes to like the nationwide outbreak, are these adults spreading it or is this primarily in children? Vast majority of children. So uh, almost every case in the Oregon, for example, in the Oregon epidemic right now, that uh, all under 18, um, I think 80% of the cases are under 10 years old. So really our, our population that was born before 1963, everyone got the measles and has immunity and, and because it's so contagious that everybody gets it. And it's right. a childhood disease just because it's so contagious. So mm -hmm. if, you, if you're around, you know, you, you've, you've been infected by the time you're, you're an adult, you've already been infected. Yeah. So help us understand. So the, the vaccine is 93% effective with one, 97% right. effective with two. Uh, help us understand the conversation that you have with parents if they have concerns or questions and why people might decide not to vaccinate and obviously the effect that that can have as a result. You know, I think that it's just not visible. Our grandparents, they, they knew all, they got measles, their friends got measles, their classmates got measles. They knew it was terrible, they laid them up for a week and they knew people that died from measles. Mm -hmm. Here in the United States, uh, fortunately, we don't have many cases and, and many deaths internationally. Still, there's going to be, you know, uh, we used to say 100 to 200,000 deaths a year. Uh, actually, I think uh, last year it was under 90,000. So it's steadily going down as mm -hmm. people get immunized. I, I tell parents, look, you know, certainly if you travel abroad, even to Europe, mm -hmm. there's potential to get measles. But unfortunately, when people travel here, or when people go abroad, our last case of measles here in San Diego County was someone who traveled to Bali. Mm -hmm. That individual brought it back and infected someone else. So you can go to Disneyland potentially and be exposed. We had 14 cases in San Diego County. Right. Just a couple people of years went, ago because of that, the, the Disneyland case. That's right. Uh, Dr. David Miller, I appreciate you being here. Uh, Thank you. Hopefully we don't have to have you around the table talking about another case. That's right. Hopefully More this is More cases gone. of measles, right? People get the message. Information about prevention, though. Yeah. That's right. Thank